welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. With the release of the PMDG's 777-300ER, we have another steady level plane in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is great to fly. I've been doing lots of flights with this plane and I'm just really enjoying each and every one of it. As a beginner and uh, as somebody new to this plane, uh, you might be struggling uh, with parking brakes, how to engage and disengage the parking brakes. So in this video, I'm just going to tell you how to engage and disengage the parking brakes. Right now, I'm at the runway. I've not configured this plane for the uh, for any flight. That's why you might be seeing some different errors. Just ignore them. So right now, uh, the parking brake is engaged. So I have actually configured one of the buttons on my controller in order to um, um, apply the brakes. Not the parking brake. Obviously, there's a separate button for the parking brakes, which I'm just going to show you in the control setting. But right now, I just want to demonstrate one thing to you. So in order to engage the brakes uh, in this plane, in real life, you actually have to press uh, these uh, paddles or the uh, toe brakes, which are also used for the rudder. You press them and then you release the parking brakes. So right now, you can see I've disengaged the parking brake and as soon as I release the button, the brakes should get released. Actually, it's kind of a hit and trial method. <laughs> just one, two, three seconds and just release it. And now you can see the toe brakes are now released. And now uh, the parking brake is disengaged and if I give some throttle you will see that the plane is moving and in order to again stop the plane I will just use the brakes to stop the plane and now even if I click it the parking brake it will be engaged and as, as soon as I've engaged the brake you must have observed that the two brakes are pressed so uh, engaging the parking brake is easy you can simply click it and it engages but uh, in order to disengage it you have to just press the toe brake button and just give it some 2-3 seconds and just release it and now the parking brake is disengaged. Now um, I'm just going to the control settings over here and uh, I will just show you the controller that I'm using. I'm using the Airbus A320 uh, controller by Thrustmaster uh, on button 14 which is over here. I will also open the settings over here. So button 14, this is the one I use for the braking and uh, this is button 7 which I use for the toe brakes. So in order to release the parking brakes, I'm just uh, pressing and holding this button for 3-4 seconds and the parking brake is released. So let's uh, do it again. Let's get the flaps. This happens since the time I've bought the Airbus controller uh, from the Thrustmaster. Uh, this happens every time I go into the settings, come back, either the flaps getting um, get extracted, retracted or extended. So uh, now I'm just going to release it again. So I'll press button 7 for like 3-4 seconds and now you can see the toe brakes are now released. And in order to engage the parking brakes, I'll just uh, pull this, uh, um, the parking brake lever and you will see the toe brakes are pressed and the brake has now been engaged. So this is how you do it. Uh, this was a short video. I will be doing lots of videos for this plane in the future uh, in the coming few days. Although I'm also traveling to Pakistan after one week. So the, I, <laughs> there might be a break. But anyhow, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. I will be just doing uh, lots of videos and posting them on my channel. If you've got any further questions or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.